Hello everyone, today we will be doing a tutorial on how to set up and use DI Discord login. To get started, click download now. It will bring you to the GitHub which can be found in the description as well. Make sure to download DI Core 2.1.0 and DI Login 3.1.0 or whatever the latest version is whenever you visit the GitHub. Once you have both of them downloaded, head over to wherever you're hosting and go to the plugins folder and upload both the core and the login files. Now that both plugins are uploaded, go to your console and start the server. Now that your server started, ignore any errors from Discord login. That is because you haven't set up the token yet. To do that, go to plugins folder, go to the core, and go to the config.yml file. You need your bot token first, so to do that, go to discord.com slash developers and press new application and give it a name. I'm going to call it mine verification bot. Go down to the bot section, click add bot, yes do it. Now everything's here and one thing you must make sure you have on is this and this under privilege gateway intent. That's so it can work properly. Once that's done, press copy and go ahead and put in the token right there. Now with your server ID, go to your Discord. Once you have your Discord open, you have to have advanced mode on. If you don't have it on yet, go to user settings, scroll down to advanced, and turn on developer mode. Once that's on, right click on your server icon and click copy ID. And put it right where server ID is. You can also change the prefix of it. And then you can give, change the name of your server. For me, I'm going to do an example. I'm going to call it Bedcraft because that's my server. Now that that's all set up, you want to make sure you invite the bot. So press OAuth2. Come down here, click Bot, and click Administrator. Copy the link, open a new tab, and paste it. And go ahead and invite it to your server. There we go. And you have to complete a capture too. Now let's go to Discord. Now that we're on Discord, you can see that the bot is now in our server. Now we have to bring it online. To simply do that, go back to the panel. Once you're back on the panel or wherever you're hosting it, make sure to restart the server. Now that your server is online, you can see that your bot is online as well. Now let's go into the config. In the plugins folder, click on core folder, then the DI login folder. And here you can find the user's database file, the language YML where you can configure all the messages of the plugin, and you can also see the config YML file. In here, something I would recommend turning off is teleport. This is where it'll teleport you every time they join. So if they join and you want to have a special little area that tells them to check their Discord messages, you can set that to true and set all the different coordinates for your, for your server. You can also change the embed color of the messages and everything else there. But for me, I personally keep it on false. Then save the content. And one more time, restart your server. Now that your server is starting, go ahead and join your server. It'll send you a message that says to register, use the command register. And then it'll give you a little code on our Discord. Or use the register Discord ID in the game. If you want to have it run in the Discord, you can set the channel ID in the config.yml. Personally, I don't really use it, but some other people I know really like that feature. But I'm just going to show you how to register in-game right now. So, you get you have to get your Discord ID. To get that, right-click yourself in Discord and press copy ID. Right-click yourself, I'm meaning in the server list. Then go ahead and use register and then your Discord ID. And now they sent me a message on Discord. Now if we go to Discord, you can see we have a message from Verification Bot. To verify, simply click the star. After clicking the star, you can see that it says Login Successful, and it allows me to move around. If you weren't verified, you would be stuck in place until you verified, of course. Anyways, that's pretty much all you need to know about this plugin since it's very simple and easy to use. Anyways, thank you for watching. I